Hi, Gaynor. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, would you just mind telling us about you and yourself and your business and uh, what you've been up to the last few weeks? Okay. Um, well, my business is Bedford Financial Planning. Um, it's my, my husband and myself that actually run the business. Um, we have three admin staff who work out of the office in St. Asif, normally. Um, for, well, since just before lockdown, before the government said that we needed to lock down, we'd actually um, taken the, the stance that we were going to have to do it. So we'd already purchased a couple of additional laptops that we needed for the girls um, so that they were able to work from home. Yeah. We have a purpose-built home office, which is where I am at the moment. So it's just across the way from the house. So uh, it's been good that, I, you know, that's all I've needed to do every day is go out the back door and into my office, which has made a difference from traveling all of the time. Um, but so the girls are all working from home and they go into the office on a rotational basis. Um, so one's in each day, they run that rotor, they decide who's going in when, etc. Um, and they're there to just open the post and to do the printing or anything else that they need to do. Um, so they have all the facilities to, to wash down. They're the only ones in the building, so we know they're secure. So it's from that perspective, you know, it's been, it's been good. Yeah, you were saying earlier that you're actually busier than ever. Yeah, but all, everything has continued as it was before. We carried on, we're still booking our client, girls booking in the client review meetings um, on a monthly basis. Uh, and we're still seeing our clients, if, if they haven't got technology, then we do the reviews over the telephone and then send them in the post. If they have the technology, then we're using Teams meetings so we can share, you know, everything online with them, share truth, etc., online, and it works well. Have you had any clients who have been concerned or panicked about um, markets falling or, you know, scaremongering they might have heard or anything? Two. Really? Just two. Uh, one of them had a substantial amount of money and he'd just retired and against my advice decided uh, he was going to pull some of his pension money sort of out and stick it into cash. He left most of it in, um, but you know, and that's where it is. He's thinking about renting back into the market. Um, and then we had one person who, again, approaching retirement, she's quite a nervous investor anyway. She'd gone into the market in April last year and she was, she was, thinking about uh, withdrawing your money and going to cash basically and I convinced her not to and I think she's quite happy that she didn't but she just needed her hand held in and she you know was slightly nervous um, but yeah but uh, we've actually run webinars which we've never done before um, wow. so we've how, what's the format for the webinar? Like, what, uh, well, we're very, you know. well, we're very lucky because we're being part of the Beaufort group. We've got Beaufort Investments, so it's Shane Balcom and his team, basically. And so they've been running webinars, uh, moved all our meetings to webinars, etc., and then offered them for clients. So we basically emailed the client base and said, look, you know, we're going to run some webinars. We'll do one in the morning, one in the evening, and if you can join them and log in, then... You know, and I think it was quite reassuring for the clients because he talked a lot about the fear factor and when people would sort of think, oh, the market's got scary, I need to get out. And, and I think they found that very reassuring. Um, would like to have done it probably earlier than we did do it, but uh, having done one, we're now going to do more because it's been quite successful, if I'm honest. Excellent. Are they interactive webinars or are they pre recorded? you know chunks or something you know, they're, they're, they're interactive so the clients can type messages they can't talk like this but they can type messages to the host so very much like you would get from the likes of Prudential and some of the life offices where you can ask questions and they'll either pick them up during the course of the webinar or at the end of the webinar so it's, it's good from that perspective that's a fantastic resource for your clients isn't it uh, it, it is it's been, it's been great really since we joined Beaufort that was when we, which was July 2018. That's when we went, we moved from being desktop based uh, truth user because <laughs> uh, I was always convinced I didn't li like the security of the net, but you know, they've convinced me that, you know, so everything basically is in the cloud, intelligent offices in the cloud, truth is in the cloud, all our client files are in the cloud. So that has just made, you know, moving to this basis of working seamless. 
Fantastic, good. And um, what about your staff? How are they coping? Are they happy, you know, with going into the office once a day? And at the end of this, do you think you might review the way that you were working before and change the way you're working? I'm not sure that we're going to totally review the way we're working because our clients do do like to come into our office. So it's not as if we've got parking outside. It's not like you're getting everybody to travel into London and things of that nature. The girls all live quite local to the office and I think they enjoy the banter. So within, like we use Microsoft Teams for our client meetings and we obviously have a team of our own within the staff. And that's been great because you can, you know, just message each other. And I have to say, at the beginning of the year, um, when this team's arrived, we, we were constantly switching it off saying, it's most annoying. <laughs> and now we think it's the best thing since sliced bread. <laughs> so it, it really, it, it's been great because we can just call the girls and have a chat with them individually. We can talk. So this morning we've had a team meeting uh, where we've all got our cameras on and we can see each other. And you can just sense if somebody's not 100% happy. And then you may have a word with one of the others and say, you know, give it a call. What did you think? And so we are gelled and they, they have their own team as well. So they, they call each other without us being part of that. So it's, you know, it's worked well. But I say I don't think I might travel in less to the office because I have the longest distance to travel. Um, but I probably will go in less. Um, but I don't think we will totally change the way we are working for those clients that live local to the office. Yeah, yeah. And I, th I think some of the older clients still prefer that face-to-face, -face, don't they, rather than... Yeah. Um, they do, and some of our older clients, they're moving with technology, but they haven't really got there, so it, it, can, be a, it can be a struggle for them. And they quite, I think they quite like coming into the office and seeing the girls and having a nice cup of coffee and <laughs> things <laughs> like that, you know. Um, and so one of the other things that we did is, was make... When we first went into lockdown, the girls made... Um, a list of our individual clients who were, who were having to isolate who were over the age of 70 and we sort of then drill down on that and say right which clients haven't got um family um or family that live there and we've been trying to make regular contact with those clients just by phone to make sure that you know we're in touch basically and they know we care so not really talking about finances just talking about life that's really important. So you, you analysed your own client bank to see whether they would be isolating. Is that, is, you did. Oh, that's amazing. It's good. Really good yeah, way of yeah. watching it. Again, it's all about the technology and the back office systems, isn't it, I suppose? What about um, new clients or anything else like that? Is that something you're thinking about? or? Funny enough, just before we connected this morning, I've just had a text from one of my clients, um, his son-in-law and son, daughter and son-in-law but she was um quite ill before this virus and he's just contacted me just now to say are we taking any new clients on and can he you know can he can we look after him so it'd be an interesting one so yeah so we still work we're able to do it just through technology really so excellent i think um i, th I think this is going to show some of the best planners out there you know that uh, they're not that this isn't fear um, um, period, you know, for getting new clients or anything, it's actually a, a real positive thing. As more yeah. um, clients of good planners are going to say to their friends, "You need to speak to Gainer because yeah. um, she's helped and reassured us." So it's, you know, I think you'll, it will be, you know, quite positive for you. Yeah, I, I think so. And for those that, when we've done the reviews and said, you know, if you want to see, you know, where we are. Uh, we can just let, let's factor in another 25% downturn in the market in July and see how you stand. And, you know, they can, they can see automatically that, you know, with the reassurance of truth software, that actually everything's fine. So they don't need to worry. I mean, one of the things we did do um, in February when we could see the way things were going was we emailed, we did an email or letter drop to people to say if they, we're taking fixed income from their investments, given that the markets have fallen and they can't go out <laughs> and they can't go on holiday to spend this money that they might want to consider, you know, stopping those fixed withdrawals because of the way the, the units are encashed. And again, the vast majority of people have listened to us and did that stop. But again, most of that took place before we closed the office there in, in March, you know, so it was, uh, it was good. Fantastic. Brilliant. Um, 
so thank you very much Gaynor for your time and uh, it would be great to sort of pop in and chat with you again in a few weeks time and see what's happened and talk to you about your new clients. Okie dokie, all right thank you very much for your time. Thank you, take care, bye. Bye bye.